Hello, hello, hello. Give this a few minutes for some people to sign in. Come say hello. Got some Series 7 bags here, very excited. Just waiting for some people to show up. Every time I do one of these, I'm always afraid like no one's gonna show up and I'm gonna feel like that kid who has a birthday party and nobody shows up. He just sits at home with pizza and nobody comes. <laughs> it's very sad. I'm always afraid for like the first minute of the stream that that's what's going to happen. So I guess I should get some elevator music or something and just put it inserted here <laughs> while we wait for everyone to show up or someone to show up. <laughs> Let's see, what can I do in the meantime? Is there anything? Is there some kind of toy handy that makes sound effects? That would be fun. Not really, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, self-fulfilling prophecy. No one is showing up. Did I start too late for you guys? I guess so. All right, well, the video will go up anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, you guys will just have to watch it later. So basically, uh, I got some Series 7 Imagine X blind bags. Oh, I have a thumbs up. I always think it's funny when the video tells me I have a thumbs up, but there's still nobody watching. I always think that's funny. <laughs> All right, we had somebody join. Hello, say hello. Don't be shy. Say hello in the chat. Oh, and they're gone. Oh, well. In any case, uh, I got some Series 7 Imaginec blind bags here. Um, I saw a listing on Amazon. It said it was a set of four random blind bags of Series 7. And that's all it said. And I think it was like $13. And I thought, well, that's a decent price because these are usually $3 a piece just at random stores, wherever you can find them. And uh, I was really interested in this wave because I really like this mariachi dude and I really like this like pumpkin head uh, swordsman. I think his name is just like pumpkin headed swordsman or something. But to me, it's like, uh, hey, JP fan. Um, I can't think of his name now. Like uh, the headless horseman, obviously, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, so... I wanted to get this wave, plus the elusive Ghostbuster guy, which I'm pretty sure I have five packs here, and I'm pretty sure the Ghostbuster is the only one I don't have, so that's kind of a bummer. But, um, I got this set of four on Amazon, and when they arrived, I was really afraid, because it said random set of four, so I was like, I just don't want it to be like the same one four times. I mean, if it really is just like a giant bag that they're just pulling four out of, you could get duplicates, so that's what I was worried about. Uh, luckily, they sent me four different ones, and then I went to Walmart today. I found the Batman Swamp Thing 2-pack, two two which I was very excited about, and they just randomly had one of these Series 7, like, mixed into a Series 8 box, and um, it happened to be one of the two that were not included in the bundle from Amazon, so I miraculously got um, five out of the six. Like I said, I think the only one I don't have is the Ghostbuster. You want to see the battle damage Stigy? I can do that. Here he is. You can put him in the back as a mascot for the video. He's fun. I like him. I, I, I looked up a video on how to pronounce it, and I think it said Stigy Moloch. So that's what I've been saying. And then I felt like somebody else said, that is Stigy Moloch. Hey, John. Welcome, welcome. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start opening these. 
Hey, train fans. Train fans, you would know this. What's going on with, uh, with, uh, I keep wanting to say Evangelion, and that's not right. <laughs> with Shinkalion. Was it not on two weeks in a row? Because I've been trying to watch 14, and it's still not on the site that I watch it on. Let's see what we got here. Power Rangers, DC Super Friends, Pirates, Dino, SpongeBob, and Ocean. I'm going to try to zoom in here. Oh, uh, okay. So hopefully episode 14 should be up soon. I like the Pirates. I think they're pretty fun. Also, this Dino line. So... I got an awesome story. They have a gift set that is this large um, fortress and this T-Rex all together in a gift set for like 100 bucks. Miku episode aired today, one of two. Oh, okay. So that would be 15 that was just on television is what you're saying, in Japan. See, I still need to watch 14. Uh, awesome, John. Thank you for listening. I appreciate that. So they have a gift set at Kohl's that was this fortress and this dino, and it was normally a hundred bucks. And I went to my Kohl's, and they had it on clearance for thirty. And this, plus, I had a coupon and some dollars off or whatever, so I got the whole set for like twenty three dollars. Awesome. So I was like, I can't, I can't, I wasn't gonna get it because it was a hundred bucks. But then when I heard it was on clearance, I was like, I can't pass that up. So I had to get it. Uh, all right, here. So we have looks to be like a alien or something. See you, JP fan. Thanks for joining. We have a disco guy with a disco ball. Some kind of ninja master. Yeah, I, I want to review it, John, but it's so huge. I feel like I don't know how I'm going to fit it in my review station. <laughs> this guy's cool. It's like a headless horseman kind of guy. And this mariachi's cool, too. This is like, um, why is it, uh, Des was it Des not Desperado? What was the Anthony, um... Antonio Banderas movie, where he's a mariachi. I think there was originally a movie called The Mariachi, but then they remade it and it was called something else. I don't remember. This guy is obviously a Ghostbuster. I really want this one, and it's unfortunately the only one in this wave that I think I don't have. But I'm going to have to track that one down because that is amazing. Even as a PKE meter, I mean, come on, that's fantastic. What is that movie? Does anyone know that movie? That's true. I could do that, John. I could do that. What is that Antonio Banderas movie? I'll have to look it up later. Anyway, there's like a, a guy and he has two friends and they're they're traveling mariachis, but like in his his guitar case is all full of guns. It's like a whole. I'll think of it someday. I'll have to look it up. In any case, we'll move on. <laughs> we'll move on. All right. Let's see. All right. Hey, here you go. Right here. First up, we got the mariachi dude. That's kind of funny. So I gotta say, this is a pretty neat figure. Very nicely painted and detailed. Maybe it is Desperado. I feel like that's not right though. But it's a pretty cool figure. I just, I love the, the guitar. Cause like he can wear it on his back. Or, of course, you can wear it around the front so you can play it. Yeah, HLJ's weird. Like, all the stuff that was supposed to come out today, all the, like, Rider stuff, and the there was one uh, Dial Fighter, they didn't actually charge, they didn't, it didn't come in. Like, they didn't ask for the money. Yes, thank you, John. That's exactly what I was just talking about. It did not. It did not go through. Um, I'm guessing sometimes their shipments just come in late and fingers crossed. I'm hoping it's going to, they're going to do the payment request tomorrow. So that'll just delay everything a day. So he's got this skull hat. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> Shashat. I don't know if they're going to get any more Shashat. They might. So anyway, this mariachi dude is pretty awesome. I like his skull mask. And his hat and his guitar. So that dude's pretty cool. <laughs> Stealing Shuki's. I saw Shuki's review of the base today. It's pretty neat. Right, let me 
me see if I can zoom out. Here we go. All right, let's see which one this is. We have... Oh, this is probably the Ninja Warrior. <laughs> it's like a crouching tiger hidden dragon, dude. Yeah, that's the problem with those kind of things. They're so huge, train fans, it's hard to find space to display them. There's another one that... Um, I don't know who exactly makes it, but I I saw a picture of it. I looked it up. HLJ does have it. It's called, like, From Today On, I Am The Train Conductor or something like that. And it's a cool little, like, uh, like, a, like a little station, basically. It has, like, three connections for trains, and you can collect plot rail and everything to it. It looks cool. I just, I, I like it. I just, I have absolutely nowhere to put it. All right. So first of all, this guy's got a crazy, awesome dragon tattoo. <laughs> He's Imagine next tattoo on the back. And then you can put on this jacket. If I can get this on. Kind of have to put it around his crazy hairpiece. There we go. So I gotta say, it looks pretty bulky in this. But it's got the same Imaginex symbol on the back. It's even got Shinkan's on. Yeah, 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 the line, yes. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work. For some reason, HLJ is not really great with the promotional items for Sentai. They're usually pretty decent with Rider, except for the build gash app. But yeah, we'll see. I, fingers crossed. I would say that if they didn't, if they didn't fulfill our orders today, they didn't fulfill anyone's orders today. So they can't possibly like give the promotional item to somebody else and not us because they didn't. I mean, if you look, it still says it's coming out in. It's coming out in. Uh, April still, so they just didn't get theirs in yet. And it's happened before. There have definitely been times where they've just, you look for the thing on Friday and it doesn't happen till Saturday. It has happened in the past. You'll just get the email around the same time uh, on Saturday and then you'll just be like normal. Oh, this guy's cool. But honestly, with HLJ, it's not a question of they didn't get enough of them. It's just if they decide to hold on to them. Because for some reason, with Sentai stuff, they like to hold on to it and then use it to try to move Megazords, Megazords, the mecha sets. Like, you know, they'll be like, oh, we didn't fill that. And then, like, six months from now, they'll be like, who wants to buy a, a Lupin Kaiser? And you'll get this free promotional item if you do. And it's like, ugh. They did it with the Golden Panda for Juoger. They did it with the Kutama. The, uh, what was the Kutama? The Centaurus one? Yeah. The Centaurus Kutama. They decided to do that, uh, where they just held on to it. It's, it's really, it's, I think it's sleazy, honestly, because it's supposed to be given away free if you buy X item. And instead, they, you buy X item, they don't give it to you, and then they just try to use it later when they have stock that's not moving and they have a promotion, they're like, ooh, buy this old back stock and get this thing you were supposed to get for free. And it's like, no. <laughs> no, I don't... I have to really look at this. I assume these are supposed to move, but they they really don't. So maybe his hands don't move. <laughs> anyway, this guy's pretty cool. His head moves from side to side. I think he's like a robot alien. He's cool, though. Oh, that's cool. This thing reminds me of like a mask. Like like Mobile Armored Strike Command mask from the 80s from Kenner. That's cool though. I don't know why his hands wouldn't move. It, I'll have to look at this later, but it really seems like they should. You know what I'll check out? Where is the... Uh... Let's check on this. Because I bet... No, see, his hands are normal there. Oh, mask is good stuff, John. You gotta check it out. I don't remember the show so much as uh, the toys I remember. Oh, I'm going to break this. Why don't these move? They have to move. All right, I'll have to, I'll have to mess with that later. 
don't know what's going on with his hands. I don't know what's going on with his hands. Born in 95, John, you're too young. You make me feel old, John. Born in 99. First of all, it's never sad to know what mask is. But 99, holy crap, you make me feel old. Look at this guy, he's got a crazy ponytail. Oh, is this dude glow in the dark? Does he glow in the dark? Charge him up. Uh, maybe? I can't tell. <laughs> he's cool though. His hands move. Yeah, this guy is awesome. And then he's got this... I feel like, how is this going to fit over his ponytail, though? Do I have to turn his head sideways? How does this work? Dude, that's cool. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, John. It does remind me. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he does look like the Headless Horseman. I agree. That's what That was what I thought of when I first saw him. Dude, that's cool. Now, I'm trying to think, if you would have it straight on, I guess you could still do it. But I feel like it's going to, you kind of have to turn it to the side. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I feel like the head and the hands glow in the dark. That guy is awesome. That is really cool. I like that a lot. All right, and this last one I know is the disco guy. Because the freaking disco ball is so massive in the packaging. <laughs> this also reminds me of... Um, what is his name? Is it... Sam Hain, I think? There was a Ghostbusters villain in the real Ghostbusters cartoon. It was a guy with a pumpkin head. His name was Sam Hain. Disco guy! So yeah, literally the only one I don't have is the Ghostbuster, which is arguably the one I want the most. I mean, not that these guys aren't cool. I like these other ones a lot. Uh, what is going on with this dude's arm? Oh god, this feels like it's gonna break. Okay, we're good. Casey Jones. What's the Casey Jones one? I don't remember that one, I'll be honest. So the disco dude, it's pretty cool. I like his giant Imagine X medallion. That's pretty quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you meant not the turtle guy. What I don't get is why would his giant uh, disco ball just like say, it's like the Death Star. <laughs> yeah, I thought the Ultraman scans were pretty cool. I was very excited for them. Um, it sounds like it's going to be like a pair of brothers, and they can, can they fuse together? Or they just have forms they trade back and forth? And then it kind of looked like, hey, JB fan. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It looks like the Death Star. But yeah, for the Ultraman, I think it looks like they have little coins that they use to transform, and then they're going to... I think switch them back and forth. If it's like a dark orb, they fight it. I don't know. There's a lot of crazy stuff. Definitely interested to see more. It's right here. JP fan, you are way too focused on dinosaurs, pal. So, yes. I think these are very cool. I think this guy's probably my favorite. This guy's a close second. These two are pretty cool. I like this guy. I just, I'm trying to figure out what the heck's going on with his hands. And why they don't move. Yeah, I agree. They really do need to stop making him just fusions of older, older Ultraman. Because I, I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. But it, it is getting to the point where it's kind of stale now and they need to figure out something else. Yeah, Toys R Us is not really getting... Um, Jurassic World stuff as far as I can tell definitely check Target though they have a lot of it huh. yeah I'm definitely excited to see more I mean obviously show will probably start in July hey Marcelo um, 
So yeah, show will probably start in July, so we'll probably start getting some more info like May, June for sure. <laughs> hey, Cody. Um, oh, you don't have Target or Walmart? That stinks. Mattel might sell it direct on their website. You could check that. Um, sorry, we're getting off topic. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what was it? What do they call it? Amazon Riders or something silly? But yes, the Common Rider Amazon that uh, Amazon Japan funded probably two years ago at this point uh, is now available on Amazon America streaming. Uh, but make sure you turn the subtitles on because I went to watch it and I was like, did they dub? Because I was really curious to see if they dubbed it. <laughs> Cody, that's funny. John said the same thing. He was listening to the podcast. Thank you both, by the way, for listening. Thank you. Um yeah, so, I mean, it's been a while. They've already done a second season. Um, they've already done a second season of Amazons, and they're both great. If you haven't seen them, you should definitely... Uh... <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I was curious to see if they had if they had dubbed it, but they didn't. It's just the Japanese show. You just have to turn on the subtitles. So anyway, I don't know what's going on with this dude's hands. They will not move. I have been here trying... And I, I'm really afraid I'm going to break it. Ooh, me, okay. Have them at the mall. Yeah, I'm, I've seen them at Walmart. I've seen them at Target. I have not seen them at Toys R Us. Like I said, I think they might just not be bothering with them because they're not really getting everything. Yeah, John, I agree that... Uh, Second season got a little intense. I think it was because what the rumor I heard, I think Shuka actually told me that the guy who made the series, um, they 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 aired it on TV or they edited it a little bit and aired it on TV, and he was like, "No, this is this is uh, you know this is an adult series. It shouldn't be on TV." And so he made the second series so much more extreme, so as not to be able. He's like, "They'll never be able to edit it and put it on TV." <laughs> okay, hold on, I am. Missing comments here. Marcelo said, so we haven't gotten the reveal of S.H.I.E.L.D. TF, TLK, Target exclusives. What is that? Transformers The Last Night? Is that what you're talking about, Marcelo? Back on Shinkalion, they had Miku voiced by Vocaloid program instead of the woman who provides her voice samples. I, I don't know what that means. You'll have to explain that to me. Read what I say. What did you say, JP fan? I missed it. I have a Mid Valley Mall. They're going to have a lot of them. Yeah, the mall. I saw that. Sorry, the comments are going quick. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if they're doing any more. The last night stuff. I think that line's pretty much dead. The movie did not do nearly as well as they wanted it to, and it just kind of. Oh, it's like a computerized voice, you're saying. Oh, you finished Try Cody? Very nice. I have yet to watch that. But yeah, you should watch Amazons. It's pretty cool. Revenge for Animated Season 4. You're in a uni you're in university for your brother. You're visiting your brother at school. Is that what you mean, JP fan? Oh, I don't have any more blind bags to open, but I was very excited to get these. I haven't. I really didn't start getting Imaginex blind bags until like series eight was the most recent one I could find. So. I was happy to find a way to get these uh, Series 7 ones. I gotta get that Ghostbuster, though. It's so cool. I gotta look at it again. Open something random. I could do that. For a second, I gotta take a look at this Ghostbuster again. It's so obviously a Ghostbuster, too. You get the PKE meter, the Proton back. He's even got the jumpsuit. That's so cool. I need to find that. I gotta find that somewhere. All right, let's see. What can I open that's random? What is random? Do, 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 do. I 
I got a, I got a crazy bag of Imagine X stuff. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, you guys want something DC or something dinosaur related? Jurassic Park mini dino blind bags. Uh, sorry, Marcel, I do not have any of those mini dino blind bags. Miku sounded really off, and you could tell they were using the program. I hope she ends up being... I was going to say, is she robotic or something? Maybe it's done on purpose. Uh, no, I have not gotten the N700A. I mean, I have it. I own it. I mean, well, I bought it. <laughs> it's in my HLJ private warehouse. All right, so I have two votes for DC and two votes for Dino. <laughs> Train fans. No, I do not mean Washington, D.C. I mean D.C. Comics. All right, here's what we'll do. We'll compromise. I'll do one of each. All right, so you guys can choose for the D.C., Yes, dad jokes are definitely welcome. I am not a dad, but I love puns. So it's all good. Alright, move this stuff back. So, I have a clearance red tornado from Target. A Batgirl motorcycle. Or a dark side and parademon. Oh, I actually also have a steel and metallo. So choose one of these and I'll do one DC and then I'll do a dino one. All right, I got one vote for Batgirl, I got one vote for Red Tornado. Someone break the tie. All right, I got Batgirl. Two votes for Batgirl, so Batgirl wins. Oh, JP fan, now you tied it up again. All right, damn it, guys, I'll do both of them. All right, let me try. I'm going to fix my lighting a little bit. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this stuff. Move these guys off to the side. Because for some reason, I feel like Lighting doesn't work out. <laughs> Alright, now which one should I open first? No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not getting lost in another debate. Alright, let's see. What is the easiest way to go about this? Oh, this is, uh-oh, this is already partially open. Darn target clearance. I don't bother with these tie things. All right, so I don't quite know what this does. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to bother to get the E5 or the H5. I keep going back and forth about it. It's just so darn close to the E5. <laughs> so I guess this is just he sits in this. Yeah, those tie things are the worst, Cody. I agree. All right, so he just... <laughs> All right. He just... He gets really dizzy. See, what I wish it was, I wish there was a way that he could sit here and not move, and then this thing would move around him, because that's kind of how it was, like, in the shows and the comics and stuff. You know, his torso or his lower... His legs would spin, and his body would stay stationary. So I wish they had found a way to, like that piece would stay still and the rest of it would move around him like this. I think that'd be cooler, but that's just me. But let's be honest. I bought this for the red tornado figure because he's awesome. I love his face. Kind of looks like Iron Man, but he is a robot. So it looks like the head does not move. Arms go out to the side. Normal waist articulation there. I live in Pennsylvania, JP fans. Yeah, Red Tornado is cool. He's a lesser known DC guy, but I like his cape. That's pretty cool. 
Yes, I have seen Dragon Ball GT. Where do you live, train fans? You live in PA too? Japan, I went to Japan for six weeks for college, when I was in college. Oh, cool. Nice, J uh, train fans. South Jersey? Yeah, when I went to Japan, it was during school. I, I actually, um, I minored in Japanese language. So, I wanted to go to Japan anyway. There was like a program where, you know, it was subsidized, so it was cheaper than I could ever afford. <laughs> on, on my own. This thing is so top-heavy. Um... But yeah, so we went for six weeks. It was like a whole tour. Like it took us to, where did we go first? I think we went to Sendai. We went to school for a little bit in Sendai. Then they took us around to Kyoto, Hiroshima, Tokyo. I think we finished in Tokyo. Oh uh, yeah, when I went to Japan was when I started buying Mugen buying stuff. That I went into a Toys R Us and found them, and that that began my love of Mugen buying toys. <laughs> no, I didn't even know Mr. S existed at that time. This was a while ago. This was probably 15 years ago. So yeah, basically my my uh, my conclusion on this is the tornado thing is not the best, but the figure is pretty awesome. Nice. That's awesome, John. Yeah, it was definitely fun. I mean, I don't really have an occasion to use my Japanese language major or minor. And the longer you go without using it, you know, the, the less you retain. But yeah, dude, I got to tell you, Japanese Toys R Us is pretty much like if heaven exists, it'll it'll be a Japanese Toys R Us in like the you know mid 2000s for me. <laughs> yeah, I could definitely do some serious damage on my wallet. And at the time, I wasn't even really riding, I wasn't watching rider stuff. I'm trying to think, the time that I was there, it probably would have been like Hurricaneger. And maybe, what was, what rider was on around like early 2000s? What's Mid, Mid Valley where, JP Van? I don't know, Mid Valley's too vague for me, I apologize. Yeah, I think I think I figured it out one time. I think it was Ryuki. But I don't know that for sure. So this Batgirl is pretty cool. This is the like Batgirl of Burnside from the recent comics. Looks like the head can slightly move from side to side. It's pretty cool, though. I like the costume. Cape's pretty solid. Yeah, I like this. I always wanted to get that five-pack that had the, like, um, gray and blue costume Batgirl, because that's, like, from the Batman TAS. I always liked that episode. So it looks like you pop this in here. That's cool. Fits all the way in there. And then I think this gray button on the side fires that off. <laughs> it also runs the risk of running into the juicy kid at the playground. He loves those gummies. All right, so I'm guessing I have to position her hands like this. Oh, that's cool, JP. It's a massive mall. Where is it located? <laughs> I think they change the Juicy Kid from time to time, don't they? Yeah, I saw that. That bat, that new Batmobile they have is like a repaint of an older Batmobile that I already have. I like this bike. It's pretty cool. I like the design. And I definitely like this Batgirl. Hi, Christian. <laughs> so I like this. Definitely like this one more than... I mean, the Red Tornado figure is awesome, but 
This thing. This thing's like Tasmanian Devil more than anything. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know. This just feels like a Happy Meal toy to me. Something you'd see in a goofy Happy Meal. But whatever. Have you gotten the Takara Star Wars jet that turns into Darth Vader? No, Marcelo. I don't think I'm going to get that. I got to say, I wasn't that impressed with it. I watched Bolt Matrix's review, and it's expensive for what it is. It's really pricey. Bye, JP fan. So yes, this one's awesome. The figure is awesome. That thing is meh. Alright, you guys wanted some dinos as well. Dinos, dinos. Let's see what we got. So I got this little Stegosaurus guy. And I have this thing. And... This pterodactyl. So, which one of these do you like? Uh, I don't know. I think he throws it somehow. He launches it some somehow, John. All right, train fans. My friend's grandma had this outdoor scene-in hut. They had a pool, and they had all birthdays at my grandma's. <laughs> Stagochi Ankidon Teragordon. It kind of is. I guess this is a kind of a. This looks more like an alligator. It's really weird. Hey, JP fam. Alright, we got one vote for the Stego. What do you guys vote for? That's it, just one vote for the Stego. He's gonna win. Rescue Heroes com Command Boat. You slide a lever and the commander would come up. Alright, we got one vote for Ankidon, one vote for Stego. I need a tiebreaker. I don't know, Cody, there might be Dino Charge Brave. I think Dino Charge made a lot more money than uh, Ninja Steel's making, so who knows. Oh, Cody, you vote for the bird? You got to make it difficult. That's one vote for each. <laughs> Train fans, that is a weird story, but that's funny. I'm glad you're happy about it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to break the tie because I got one vote for each here. This stuff, it feels like it's like a Dragon Ball. I don't, <laughs> it is kind of a massive giant orb. All right, we're going to go with the Stego because I'm curious as well. I don't know, Marcel, that is tough. I feel like Super Mega Force had some redeeming stuff with all the costume changes and everything. I mean, Ninja Steel's not the worst thing ever, but it's just not captivating me. All right, get this thing out of the way here. I do hope Beast Morphers will be good. It was very exciting when we found out that they're going back to Go Busters because Go Busters was a lot of fun and we all just thought it was gone and I would really like figures for Go Busters because those suits are awesome. The blue one is my favorite. All right, let's see. Get this open. Stand up. All right, so you got this super weird, I guess it's like a, Maybe a lava ball or something. Yeah, Marcel, I think there's a decent chance to eventually get to Tokuger and Ju Oger if they're going back to Go Busters. I mean, it's a good sign. Hasbro wants all the money, so. All right, I will. I will check my Twitter. Open. All right, here we go.
Yeah, that's what everyone was saying with Jew Oger. There's a lot of Minecraft ability to it. All right, so this guy's pretty awesome. <laughs> I love his facial expression. <laughs> He's just looking at you like, what are you doing? Can the head move? No. Legs not moving. But he has this button. Which flings his tail. So I'm assuming you are supposed to take this and put it in his tail and then fling it. And I got to tell you, that is not the best. <laughs> yeah, Trey fans. It's like an Eeyore face. He's just like, oh, bother. They're going to put this weird thing on my tail again and make me fling it. So, I mean, it's all right, but uh, it's not the best. Yeah, I agree, John. It's not uh it's not the best as far as momentum goes. But, you know, the Stego himself is cool. So I like that. Yeah, exactly. He's a cool dino. He can he can hold my Dragon Ball. Yeah, that's true. It would be awesome to get an orange ranger. I agree with that, Cody. Alright, so this guy. Oof. I'm break the paint there. Let's see what we got going on here. So he is got some cool face paint going on. Head goes from side to side, wrist swivel, normal shoulder articulation. He's cool though. And then he comes with this pretty awesome headdress. I mean, that's pretty cool. You have like the dinosaur head molded in with the teeth. That's pretty awesome. And then you just slide it over top. And there you go. So I gotta say, pretty cool. I like this a lot. I got this on Amazon. This is an older line. And they had a couple of these um, for like five bucks or under. So that's why I grabbed them. Uh, Marcelo, Transformer Cyberverse? I have no idea. I really don't know. <laughs> it looks just like more of Robots in Disguise, which I got bored of halfway through. I think I watched the first season of Robots in Disguise, and I was just like, I don't know. These t when they do these shows where it's just a team of five over and over and over again, I mean, somehow it worked for Beast Wars, but like Prime I got bored of after a while, and Robots in Disguise, kind of the same thing. Yeah, the toys don't really look that great. I think that's my main problem. The Cyberverse toys don't look that great. Those Authentics, they look like garbage to me. I mean, I could be proven wrong. I mean, once I get, once I see them in person, I probably won't buy many of them if I do buy any. But I'll have to wait and watch reviews and, and see them in person. I mean, here's what I'll say about Prime. Prime looked good. I really thought the animation was really nice. And it had a more serious storyline, which I appreciated. And I thought the fiction was good. The toys were actually pretty decent. Uh, and honestly, Robots in Disguise toys were decent. The, I bought the Warrior Class figures. Some of those Crash Combiners, which I thought were going to be the stupidest thing in the world. I ended up loving them. I don't know why, but I did. So, I mean, I'm not going to say that those shows were not good. But, like, to me, Beast Wars was amazing. Beast Machines was... At the time, weird, you know, looking back at them, Beast Machines is decent fiction-wise, but at the time it was kind of weird. It's still a little weird, but I feel like going back you can appreciate a little bit more. I really liked Car Robots, which became the first Robots in Disguise over here. It was a goofy show, but it was fun. Um, then we got Armada, which was all right. Um, Ener I liked Energon. Um and then, what was it? I really liked Galaxy Force. I didn't really like Cybertron so much, but I liked Galaxy Force, which was the Japanese version of that show. And then, and what was animated was after that. Animated was fun. Animated was just so different. I think it was, uh... Oh, that's right, the Japanese shows. Um, Headmasters, Master Force, and Victory. Super God Master Force is some of my all-time favorite Transformers fiction. 
And I think it's because the humans become the Transformers, which I think is really fun. Plus, the Pretenders were awesome. You're talking about the current uh, Robots in Disguise, Cody? You said the finales were good, but the rest was kind of meh. Yes, Jangrix. I watch Jangrix. Yes. His city is incredibly impressive. Um, he does, like, reviews of all the current toys and stuff, which are very... He's very thorough. <laughs> Sometimes when he's doing his reviews, I'm like, okay, dude. You're beating a dead horse, but he's very thorough, which I mean, is not a bad thing, but sometimes I just skip to the end. But uh, yeah, his customs, his city is incredibly impressive. <laughs> yeah, Jang Bricks. I mean, honestly, I when I first started reviewing stuff, I used to do some Legos and stuff, and I just got to the point where I was like, there's so many Lego reviewers that it's like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to hold a candle. There's no way. So I just, I leave that to them. I do blind bags still just because they're fun for me. But I would love to have like a bigger house where I can have a room to set up a Lego city. That would be amazing to me. I just, I don't have the space. I mean, I have some of those really nice modular sets. I would just set them up if I could. But I just don't have the space. I only have two Lego sets in decent shape. Ninjago Movie Strider and a gift from, oh, the DeLorean is very cool. Yeah, his mall is pretty awesome. All right, JP fan, have a good night. I'm trying to think. He His zoo is pretty cool. Uh, he has a zoo and an aquarium. What are the other ones that he's done that I really, really liked? I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, he's got, he's got some crazy cool stuff. Yeah, I have a bunch of Ninjago sets. They're fun. <laughs> Sorry, Marcel, I just found your pretender comment. I love that. Pretender! It's true. The thing is, if you go as hard as he does... Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, he buys, like, nothing but Lego. I mean, he buys, like, Mega Blocks and stuff, but it's pretty much all Lego. So, you're right. He's very single-minded. I mean, that guy... I mean, he must be making nice bank off his YouTube channel because he's got almost half a million subscribers. But, uh... He spends thousands and thousands of dollars because when he makes those BrickLink orders to buy stuff, I mean, that's got to be crazy money. Nint or, uh, Legos are not cheap. Yeah, stepping on Legos, Cody, that's like a universal thing that everyone everyone does not care for. Yeah, the uh, Lupin Ranger stuff's pretty fun. The nice thing about Lupin Ranger is it's not super intensive on merchandise. Not like Ryder. Ryder is like a ridiculous amount of merchandise. But this year, the, the Sentai has been um, pared down. So that's kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, Legoland is... I'm trying to think. It's I haven't been to Legoland. I went to one of those discovery centers in a mall. And it's neat. But it's super kid oriented. Which of course makes sense. It's meant for kids primarily. But like. Like you know. A grown up could go to an amusement park. And still have a good time. Legoland I feel like. If it's anything like the discovery centers. It's so kid oriented. That you would get bored. And I think they won't even let you in. Unless you have a kid. <laughs> I honestly like the full bottles. I know Shook doesn't really care for them, but um I mean yes, gash hats were better. That's that's true. I can't argue with that, but I don't know. There's something about the bottles that's fun because there's so many of them to collect that the fun of the bottles to me is the amount of them, if that makes sense. Uh with gash hats, each one was just fun on its own. With with but full bottles, having a giant collection is the fun part of it. Um, let's see. Repair guy steals go to get into places at the auto show. Yes, I think I did see that one. It's the two. It's two guys, right? Two mechanics. I 
I think I saw. Yeah, I saw that one. I got with with Drivehead. I got to like twenty episode twenty or something, uh, sixteen somewhere in there. Oh, okay. They will let you in without kids. I was gonna say sometimes I heard something about them having like adult collector night or something like that. So I don't know if it's all the time or only certain specific times. Like I said, I haven't been because I think the only one is in Cal. It was one in California, one in Florida, I think. And I'm not I'm not close to either one, so all I did was went to a Discovery Center, which they have in one of the malls. The Discovery Center has an awesome shop, though. I mean, it's like a full-blown Lego store with, like, everything, which was cool. Hmm. <sighs> Alrighty, well, I am getting on about an hour here, so I'll probably <laughs> borrow someone's chat. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'll probably be heading out in a couple of minutes. I think you know what, Cody? I think I did hear something about that. That they're making another one in New York State somewhere. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe when they put that in, I'll check it out. If it's only a couple hours drive, I'll check it out. Any more questions before I head out for the night? You know what, I'll ask you guys a question. Um, I've been just doing kind of like blind bags and various things like that for these, but I don't really have super many more blind bag options like on a weekly basis. So what would you guys want, like if you, like just like taking your opinion for what should I do during these live streams? Do you always want to see me open toys? Do you want to see... I don't know. What else could I do? <laughs> I'm just looking for suggestions from you guys. Do an unboxing and apply the stickers. Usually with like new stuff, I usually like to do like a... F I could do eh, first impressions. That's a good idea. <laughs> just talk with us for an hour. Yeah, I can certainly do that, Cody. Yeah, with like with current stuff, I like to actually do like a full review so I can like edit it and, and put it together nice and stuff like that. What are the mini dino blind bags? Are they just like PVC figures? Marcelo, are they just kind of... I don't even think I've seen them. There's so much Jurassic World stuff. I, w <laughs> I definitely fell down a rabbit hole when I went to Target the first day and I saw it. There's vehicles and figures and there's like 700 different dinosaurs and... um. Yeah, that's an idea. Build a mini plot or something. Would you... Here's a question for you guys. I have about, no lie, 50 Lego sets that I haven't... I've just bought over the years. Haven't been able to to uh, build them because I just don't really have space. I end up building them and then I kind of immediately take them apart and put them in a bag or something. Like I use a Ziploc bag and label it so I know what set it is. Because I just don't have the room to keep them all together. But... Would you guys want to watch me, like, build Lego sets? Would that be something you'd be interested in? <laughs> I mean, not tonight. I'm about ready to go to sleep for tonight. But, all right, well, maybe that that's an idea because I really do have, like, a million. I mean, I'm not even lying. Like, I don't want to show you guys right now because my review station room is, is in desperate need of a straightening of a cleaning but i mean i have you could probably see it in the corner of some of my like hlj box videos it's just a mountain floor to ceiling i've got ninjago scooby-doo marvel uh i've got some like gi joe creo sets minions ultra agents star wars nexo knights marvel dc lego batman movie uh the list goes on and on. <laughs> I mean, I've got tons of stuff. I think I even have a Lord of the Rings. Uh, what's the... Uh, Chima? I got Chima. Anything but Minions. <laughs> so yeah, so that's definitely an idea because... I mean, one, it would take a long time. The thing is, I'd have to kind of stick to, like, stuff that's, 
like like smaller ish, not super small, but like thirty to fifty dollars sets or under, just because. I mean, unless I just did like here's part one, because some of these take hours. <laughs> so, I mean, they can take forever. So, I mean, I could, if I was doing a bigger set, I could do like a part one, part two, you know, come back to it the next week. Or I could do, um, just stick to smaller sets, something like that. But that's a good idea. Maybe that's what we'll do. Because like I said, I'm, I'm not going to have. Yeah, for me, honestly, like if I do these on Friday and Saturday, um, I spend time with my wife. So it's usually when she falls asleep. I can do a video with you guys, so that's kind of why they're usually a little bit later at night. Alrighty, well that's good. I'm glad that's given me some ideas. And I mean, I can still do, I have, I honestly have a bunch of Imaginex stuff, so I could probably stick to this for a little bit. If you guys are still liking it. Oh, hey, John. I was just saying, usually the reason that they're a little bit later is because, like, I spend time with my wife after work. And then when she falls asleep, that's usually when I uh, do one of these videos to hang out with you guys. So I, that can't really be much earlier. I usually 10, 30, 11, somewhere in that area. But, yeah, I really... I've been buying a lot of stuff because there have been a lot of the new... Uh, Jurassic World, Imagine Next, and Scooby Doo, all kinds of stuff. I've been getting into the uh, Imagination Sentai Imagine X Ranger. <laughs> I like it, Marcelo. That sounds good to me. But yeah, I've been getting into these uh, these like Adventure Guy ones. I bought. I think last time I opened up that. That, like, stone snake, which I thought was really awesome. And, um, so I started kind of buying more of that line, that theme, which I just think they're pretty cool. What? Train fans? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that dream means. Whew. All right, guys, well, I'm coming up on an hour here, so I think... Well, hold on. Why did TMNT lose a Lego license? That, Cody, I don't know. I think they might have given it up. I think it was one of those deals where... They did, like, two years, and I guess maybe they just weren't seeing the return they wanted, so they just gave up the license. I'm sure with something like that, they either contract for a set number of years, or they have to re-up every year, and so, like, they have to decide if they want to keep paying for the license. Um, but I'd say I liked the Ninja Turtle Legos. It could be that, too, train fans. Mega Bloks maybe put in a better bid. I really did enjoy the Ninja Turtle Legos. But I also have to say that I think Megablox did a pretty nice job with them as well. Um, because, like, that classic turtle van, I think, looks great. All the Ninja Turtle figures, the actual little Megablox figures, I think, look really good. So I think they've been doing a decent job. Uh, Simpsons Lego set. I have, I have the Quickie Mart, which I built a long time ago. I never bought the house. I don't really think you can get it anymore. Do I have Ben 10 stuff? No, I don't I don't know too much about Ben 10. Yeah, I was always hoping with the Simpsons they would do like a whole line of sets because I think originally the plan was they were going to do because I remember someone leaked um like a list at one point where um what was I going to say? It was like like a Bart skateboard ramp was like the uh, like smaller, like $7 size, $10 size set. And then they had, I think, uh, maybe Grandpa. I can't remember. But I remember someone at one point leaked a list of like five different Simpsons sets, you know, at different price points, like a $10, $20, $30, $50, etc. And that just kind of went away. And then they decided to do the modular sets. They did the house and they did the Quickie Mart. And they just kind of stopped. So I guess they really didn't... They weren't doing well enough. Because I really wanted the third one to be Moe's Tavern. That was the set I really wanted. I wanted the third modular set to be Moe's Tavern. Come with Mo, Come with Barney. Um, you know, just the whole thing. I thought that would be really cool. 
or like a crusty burger would have been great, you know, or the school, something like that, like really would have been neat. Um, but they, they just kind of died again. I don't know if it was, a, they gave up the li the licensing rights. The sets just weren't making enough money. So they, they quit out of it. I don't really know. Um, yeah, that's the thing, John. They really were, because they decided to stick to the modular sets, they were expensive. They were very big and they were pricey. If they had done a normal line and, you know, they had $20 sets, $30 sets, I think they could have reached a wider audience. But I also think Simpsons, it's not super upsetting or offensive or anything, but it's also not super kiddish. So I feel like they probably wouldn't have sold to the masses of children because they're mostly a collector item, which I think is also why they haven't really done like a lot of Ghostbuster stuff. They kind of, you know, made the big uh, firehouse for collectors. I think there are certain things, certain themes they know are mostly for collectors and not wide kid markets. So that's why they make one or two bigger sets for the collectors. And then the themes that are more widely aimed at children they branch out cheaper sets for them. That's just my opinion. I don't know that's a theory, but it would make sense. I'm waiting for Nintendo Land, then I'll go to Universal, go to Simpsons Land. Yeah, I will say the Simpsons Land at Universal is very fun. Uh, you can go in Moe's Tavern, get a flaming Mo. Uh, it's basically like orange soda with some dry ice in it, <laughs> but it's fun. <laughs> yeah, the Simpsons minifigure blind bag waves were fun. I did enjoy those. Mega Constructs Pokemon, uh, I do not have those, but go ask Shook. Shook has, like, all those, and he should do them for his channel. Yes, the Tron set, John, I need the Tron set. That's true, they did get rid of the Back to the Future ride for the Simpsons ride. That is kind of a bummer, but I, the Back to the Future ride wasn't that great, I'll be honest. <laughs> it was fun, but it wasn't that amazing. But yeah, the Tron set, the Tron Lego set looks amazing. That is another one that... Like I said, it's very much collector oriented, so I don't think they're going to make a ton of sets, but I would love it if they made even just one or two more. I feel like you could definitely do like a Clues Command Ship set or even make a set based on the original movie. I would totally get that, like one of those tanks. Or um, I feel like there's definitely, you could do like a Flynn's house and have that come with like a Flynn. Um, or the the bar they go to when they run into um, that weird guy's name I can't think of off the top of my head with the cane and he dances. What is his name? I can't. It's been a while. Yeah, I love I love Tron. I I wish they would make a third movie as well. Ionix Pokemon. Yes, yeah, sadly I do remember those. <laughs> they were not good. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Daft Punk minifigs. What is that guy's name? It's going to drive me crazy. Uh, Zeus. Zeus is his name. That's it. So yeah, I feel like there's definitely... Oh, dude, make a recognizer. That's so easy. Make a recognizer set. Have it come with two guards. They need to contact me. I need, I'd be planning all these sets. That'd be a perfect like $20, $30 set. Just a nice big recognizer. Tenkai Knights is technically an anime. I guess that's true. Yes, there were... Well, they weren't Lego. They were, like, built to rule. So those Armada Transformer sets, and they were not good. They had to... You built them as one thing, and then you had to take them completely apart and rebuild them as the... Like, say it was the car. You had to take the car completely apart, build it as, like, as the robot. They were called Built to Rule. That was back during, like, Armada. They were not good. They did do Creo later on, which I didn't really get many of. And then they also did those, the, like, snapping ball joint ones where, like, you could transform them after you put them together. They were more like Bionicles. Hey, Jay Former. Nice to see you. Yeah, Tenkai Knights was fun. Tenkai Knights was one of those things that, like, I randomly found it one day. And binged like all 13 episodes. Because uh, it's it's kind of a neat idea. And I bought a lot of the toys at first. I think I reviewed some of them. They're on my channel somewhere. Um, but then like the line just kind of stopped showing up in stores. And they were harder to find. And 
the show kind of stopped and it just kind of petered out. So it just kind of went away. But it was fun. Yeah, the Creo ones, the Creo ones were kind of neat for some of the minifigures. Just because you're getting like little Transformer minifigures, which weren't bad. But I kind of liked the, some of the G.I. Joe Creo sets, though. I have a Terror Droom somewhere. We'll put that together one day. Card games? No, not really. Transformer Studio Series? Um, some of them look nice. I just personally don't need any more Transformer movie toys. Never that wild about them. In the, I mean, some of them were fun. But I've never... Like, the movie designs were fine, but not my favorite. And now that the movies are done, I kind of feel weird that they're, like, re-bringing up these, these toy designs. I will say that the Ratchet looks really nice. I might get suckered into buying that. Uh, and the Stinger I might get, just because I've never had a Stinger figure before. But that would probably be the only two. I don't have any have any desire for like the grimlock or anything like that hey what's up tyrant king how was rampage i heard it was pretty good actually pretty fun cody says tenkai knights was a replacement for bakugan because of the art style i can see that i can see that creo starscream never built it gotta build it yeah, the tur the micro changers and the turbo changers were like the little um it was like a mini the minifigures that they clipped pieces on to try to make it seem like they transformed, but it was just like lay the minifigure down and put a different thing on his head and they're like, Oh, that's a transformation. It's like not really. Not really. Yeah, well J Former the Ratchet I think is the one that looks the best to me. And that's the one I might get. Ooh, a Matrix painted on his chest. Huh? That's pretty cool. Bakugan or Mech, Mech, Mechard? I don't know what either of those are. I've heard of Bakugan. I don't know what Mechard is. Yeah, a lot of people are excited about the Grimlock. I just personally... just I personally don't want it. <laughs> but I think it looks nice. I mean, I know a lot of people are excited about it. I saw it the other day at a Target. He's got kind of a weird giant skirt piece. Oh, me card. Is that like it's a car that transforms like when it, it hits? It like hits the wall and flips open. I think I saw some of those at Target the other day, actually. Epic and gruesome. Nice. Was it fun? Rampage to me looks like a, just a big, fun, stupid summer movie. <laughs> Your brother cheats at Bakugan. That's a bummer, Cody. Oh, it hits a card. Okay. <laughs> you got the dud. <laughs> oh, no, Tyrant fan. I'm sorry. I wasn't calling you stupid. Certainly not. Awesome action pack better than Pacific Rim Uprising. I just mean, when I say stupid fun, I mean like just a, a goofy action, like, turn your brain off and just enjoy, like, people call it, like, a popcorn movie, that's what I mean, just, like, you know, just a crazy watch things explode, just have fun summer blockbuster kind of movie. Good night, Jay Former, thanks for joining. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna head off, too, guys, it's, uh, what time is it here? Oh, it's, I must be in the same time zone as J-Former because it is 12.30 here as well. <laughs> Train fans, some of us need sleep sometimes. Uh, going on about an hour and ten minutes here. But thank you guys so much for joining. Fun as always. I love chatting with you guys. I'm so glad when you join in and hang out. So thank you very much for coming. I'm going to head out for the night, but have an excellent weekend, everybody. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Night.